Well, uh, greetings everyone. Uh, welcome uh, to uh, uh, this evening's uh, presentations. Uh, greetings to the University of Saskatchewan, Masters of Northern Governance and Development, Northlands College staff, and also to the community members of Peter Ballantyne Cream Nation, which are uh, particularly uh, uh, significant in my presentation, and as well as the community of Lorange. Uh, the title of my uh, uh, research is called Perspectives and Values on Land and Water Use on Traditional Territories in and Around Shambo Lake. Uh, what you're going to see throughout the presentation is some of the feedback uh, quotes that had come through my research. Uh, my research was uh, performed through uh, interviews as well as document reviews. And so what I've done is I put on through the slides some of the, the comments uh, that people made. As you know, I'm Francis Calais and my uh, community advisor is here tonight. It's Councillor uh, Joan Beatty and she's sitting there in the fourth row back. <laughs> You'll see her in the, the slides as well as on my poster. <laughs> She's my star. <laughs> um, and also Dr. Robert Patrick, uh, he's not here tonight, he's with the University of Saskatchewan. And I'm sorry Lindsay, he's the project uh, advisor and he's sitting in the corner here. Uh, he was also significantly <coughs> part of this project. Uh, there were three research questions uh, for this project. Uh, what are the perspectives and values regarding land? Um, as I may have mentioned earlier, it, we, uh, I looked at uh, the Shambo Lake. Um, I did interviews with people there and I asked them what are their perspectives. I also asked them what are their perspectives regarding water and if there were any concerns regarding uh, potential diamond mining um, projects that would be occurring in the area that could occur. As you can see, one of the perspectives that came out was land is to eat food, fish, muskrat, beavers, and so <coughs> forth, egg hunting. So I, I learned how to go with egg hunting. I never did that before and you see that on a pile of rocks if I'm sure that it was really neat. Oh, I do want to add this picture. I'm sorry. This is a picture of Deshambo Lake. So you come off the main Hanson Lake Highway and you come in to town this way. <laughs> Beautiful picture. It's on their website with the Peter Valentine creation. A bit of history, Deshambo Lake is northeast of Saskatchewan and it's situated over here. I personally live over here, um, just east of Deshambo Lake. Here it is, Prince Alfred. And that's the Hanson Lake Highway. It's a member, it's a band member, a, a, a community member of uh, Peter Ballantyne Cree Nation, uh, part of the Treaty 6 traditional territory, which starts from the Manitoba border, westward to Trade Lake, north to Reindeer Lake, and south to Sturgeon Landing. So the Treaty 6 territory goes uh, approximately like this. It's kind of like a little tiny province territory of Saskatchewan. And it goes this way. Oh, excuse me, coming from the house. So that's the Treaty 6 territory of the Peter Valentine Cree Nation. There are uh, approximately 1,300 people residing in Deshambo Lake. Uh, part of the history is for this project is that the community has been subject to um, mineral exploration for potential diamond mining. And uh, as you see in the picture here, these are actual diamonds discovered just uh, six kilom approximately six kilometers away from the community. 
they're really quite tiny, but they're still significant finds. Uh, you can see one of the uh, comments made by the community members is that as they grew up, they seen rock glittering uh, on the beaches in the community. So they didn't know something was, uh, was there. Uh, the elders also spoke about it. Uh, here we have a picture of the, the uh, staking area. And uh, currently uh, it's about 300 square kilometers. And as you can see, the Shamba Lake is right here. And then we have the Pico Project, which is conducted by North Arrow uh, Minerals. And you can see the lar large amount of uh, land just across the, the water from the Shamba Lake. For this project, like I said before, I conducted uh, interviews. I uh, spoke with elders and youth from the community of uh, Deshamba Lake. We have a picture here, by the way, which reminds me. Uh, I asked um, many of the members that I interviewed if I could take their pictures and share it with the project here. And then we have one of the elders there. I also uh, reviewed some of the North Arrow uh, corporate documents for this project. And again, you, got, you see a little bit of the feedback coming in from the interviews. This is on the road into Deshamba Lake, this picture here. Um, but anyways, there are some key findings in my discussions with the uh, elders. Um, it's very valuable, the land and, and the water. It's valuable for hunting, fishing, trapping, and gathering. Uh, a lot of my interviews with the elders, we asked, I showed them, I asked them to show me on a map um, what are some significant areas of water, shorelines, or land, and they showed me trap lines, and they showed me generational family ties with, with the region. So uh, that's, an, that's all on traditional territory in the area. And it was all uh, land and water used for subsistence to feed uh, their families and also to make a living, such as commercial fishing. Now, and I asked them about, well, there might be some potential diamond mining in the area. And, and they did know about some staking or exploration that was going on. And they did have some concerns. And a lot of them did, uh, well, particularly the elders, they said, well, 100% of my group said land and water is going to be polluted. The elders stated to them, asked, well, what is good that could come out of such a project like diamond mining? The elders stated there were, may not be any benefits because of this pollution and maybe compensation for the loss of use of land. And you stated on the other hand, which was kind of an uh, interesting finding, uh, jobs and training for the community might be uh, a benefit. Again, we have some pictures of different members of the community that participated in the project. Um, one of the conclusions that I did discover was uh, <coughs> Possibly the duty to consult framework agreement with the province of Saskatchewan is not adequate enough. Because right now, uh, the province does not need to consult on mineral exploration. And uh, this, is, uh, this is a problem because there could be two different or several different exploration companies in the, in the territory. And sometimes, People go to their camp or train track line one day and they find um, rock that's been drilled from the ground or they'll find people staking the area with no warning. So that was something that was uh, a significant uh, conclusion. And I think what we need to do is uh, as First Nations is maybe lobby the government to, to uh, come up with a better framework.
not just for you know, just uh, serious mining projects, but in the early stages of mineral exploration as well. Um, mining in, in Canada is a really new industry. It only started in 1998 with two mines. And uh, so maybe future research in the areas and best methods and information finding could be done with uh, looking at Jane Smith First Nation and their projects at a whip of, uh, I never know how to say this, <laughs> at the whip of a <laughs> which is in northern Ontario, and they're mining uh, with the beers right now. Um, you probably remember a lot of the, what was that uh, campaign we had? On TV, I don't know more, on the news, the chief was fasting, and she's from this reserve, by the way, just an interesting point. Um, one of the other uh, points that I thought maybe we might be able to look at is for future research is environmental assessments of the areas, and um, traditional mapping, territorial mapping of the area. In closing, uh, we're at the very end. Um, for the people of Deschambault Lake, mining will be a new way of making a living and sustainability will be part of the process. They say diamonds are forever, um, but it isn't so. The people of Deschambault Lake are forever. <laughs>